the seventh session of our computer networks lab socket programming in C and today what we'll be covering is actually very simple it doesn't take much time it is a feature of TCP that's called half closed TCP connection um, so let's first try to understand what is full close when you call a close function call after um, exchanging data connection establishment at the end when you use TCP and call close function goal your connection is uh, actually completely terminated on both ends on both hosts um, it's like if you have a connection if you had a TCP connection between host A and host B and you call close that means you're like uh, taking a scissor and cutting the connection in between so that both hosts cannot neither host can send or receive data from each other from another and um, socket disappears on both ends if just one end calls close. In case if a partner host hasn't finished data transmission, close function call can cause a, cause a problem. That means, let's say host A is uh, sending uh, and receiving data from host B, so is host B also doing uh, data exchanging, like sending and receiving data from host A. Um, and if the host B hasn't finished transferring data to host A and host A calls close function call that means host B will have a problem uh, because it will not be able to transmit the uh, complete amount of data like it cannot complete the file transfer the, uh, the data transfer to host A because the connection has been cut like cutting with a scissor so that will cause a problem the way to solve that is an approach called TCP half close. Now we will uh, understand what this is, what TCP half close is. TCP half close provides a functionality for uh, just one of the hosts to terminate its output, its outgoing connection, instead of terminating the whole socket. While it will still receive the data from the other end, it just means I'm not going to send the data to the next host, you, but you can still keep sending me. This is called TCP half close. Uh, one more time, we are closing just one host uh, on the two, uh, between the two hosts that set up the connection because uh, one host can stop, uh, could finish transferring data, but the second host might be still sending the data. That's why, and the TCP is based on connection and they still have to have a connection so that the second host could still keep on sending the data. That's why we are um, referring to this TCP half close feature of TCP. And here, if, an, if we take a look at it in a, as, an, as an example, then uh, it will look like this. Let's say host one and host two are connected to each other, and then host one is actively closing the TCP connection. That means um, host one will send well with a TCP half closed host one is trying to finish its output then host one will say hey I'm done sending data to you by sending a fin packet and then host two will confirm that okay you can stop sending data to me with an acknowledgement packet and then host one terminates its outgoing connection that means uh, it will not be sending any more messages to the host two and then later on whenever the host two is ready Host 2 will send, okay, now I'm also done. That means I want to also finish this connection. That means it's going to be sending fin packet. And then host 1 will confirm that packet, and then host 2 also confirms uh, the termination of the connection. That means if both uh, hosts terminate their outgoing connections, that means the overall connection, overall socket will be terminated. So socket, if you try to understand it from technical perspective, then socket has input and output streams. One socket has input and output streams, two streams. And then streams need to be closed after using them. And then when we uh, do a TCP half close, then we're just stopping the output stream, but we still have an input stream. And that input stream is closed when, once the other host terminates its output stream, because your input stream is an output stream for another host. So, and streams need to be closed after using them as both input and output streams are mapped with the socket, both will close by making a close function call. When you when you make a close function call, input and output stream that are mapped to the socket, it will close because uh, streams, the sockets are considered as streams uh, in network programming. 
typical TCP socket establishment and closing with half closed case, rare case, but it's supported by TCP. So on the left case, on the left side, uh, we have the close function call, typical TCP close uh, function call. Oh, I believe you cannot see the continuation of this. So it's two lines. Uh, so here you can see that the active opener means active. Uh, the host that tries to connect uh, to, to tries to close the socket um, oh it's just it's from the beginning okay it's connection establishment the first step is actually connection establishment and then here uh, we are closing the connection by sending uh, a fin message from one uh, end and then acknowledgement and then the second Mm, host is also doing the same thing because the first uh, host has actively closed the connection it has to terminate as well so the socket will be cut because of uh, these two uh, packet sequences uh, which are fin ac and ac the same thing as fin ac and ac repeated but on the tcp half close like uh, tcp's uh, typical tcp socket case when we try to close it that means we are done exchanging data let's close the connection and then the second one will say sure let's close it even though one and one of the hosts is keeping sending the data and the second host just makes close function call they will both say we're done exchanging data sure let's close it that's why we will have an issue if the one host is still keeping the sending message and then the second host just close the termination uh, terminates the socket and on the TCP half close case, it will look like this. The first host, the active opener, that means the uh, host that's trying to um, close, uh, initiate the close uh, for the socket, sends a fin uh, function call, the fin packets, and then the passive close opener will, say, will send back the acknowledgement. That means, okay, you can stop sending data. But still, the passive opener can transmit more data. And then the active opener will still keep acknowledging, acknowledging those packets because it's still TCP. TCP is based on acknowledgements. And uh, the passive opener can keep on sending data until it wants to stop itself. And then after, after sending data, it will send fin packet as well. And then the socket is completely terminated. And if we convert it into an English sentences, it will look like this. In the TCP half close case, I am done sending data. No more messages from me. I'll wait for your fin. Okay, then wait for my fin. So it's basically the first step, the first one. I'm done sending data. No more messages from me. I'll wait for your fin. Okay, then wait for my fin. And then it will keep on sending it on. Oh, here is my fin. Okay. So basically, this is how it looks. And this is achieved by making a uh, shutdown function call. It is also in the SysSocket library. It is a very simple uh, function. It just accepts two arguments. Terminates the output stream on the half-closing party, leaving input stream open. That means it will not be sending any, pack any messages, but it will still keep on receiving messages. It means that the calling process will not make any more output to the socket. No more write function calls, but uh, read function calls will be called from the host until party also terminates the connection. It is still possible to completely close the socket if process doesn't want to uh, wait for the peer party anymore. Okay. That means, actually, this means after making shutdown function call, you can call close function call as well if you want the socket to finish. If you, if you don't want to get stuck, for example, for waiting for an hour, and depending on the another host, you can just make close function call and the connection will terminate on the other host as well after shutdown. File transfer based on TCP half close. This is the example, just one of the examples. For example, file server.c is sending party and file client.c is a receiving party. And mm, here, let's say uh, the server is transferring a file content. Uh, yes, it is transferring a file content, and then after writing, it is shutting down. That means I don't want to send any more uh, data. And then it is reading. It's still like you just make a notice that after shutdown function call, we are writing, uh, we are closing that uh, output on that socket descriptor, 
and then we are still reading messages from the uh, receiving party that the receiving party is sending back sending back something we don't know but still we are reading that one and then we are closing so basically that's the idea of the TCP health clause you can make shutdown and then still read but you cannot write and then here uh, on the other hand we are uh, reading the packets writing back that file and then Oh, actually, we are uh, reading the file on, on the left side. We are reading the file and then sending it to the socket and then receiving that uh, content, I believe. F right. Okay, it's storing the file. F uh, file client.c is storing the file that this file server is transferring here. And then on the file client, the receiving part is writing down that file, um, saving as a file, and then sending thank you back to the uh, sending party. So basically, well, this uh, the message uh, the, the read function call after shutdown is going to be receiving the uh, thank you message. So they basically this this text is the one that we'll be uh, getting because of the TCP half close. Thanks to the uh, TCP half close, actually, we are reaching the uh, end of the presentation. Actually, and end of the session. We'll take a look at file server.c and file client.c and compile and run and after understanding what the source fo source files are doing and then that's actually it so that's why the this session is not very complex so these are the source files uh, file client and file server.c let's copy them to the cyg win folder oops uh, i should have deleted that all right so let's open up these two files, file client and file server. So what file server.c is doing is uh, we know the beginnings like opening sockets and stuff. First, what it's doing is it's opening a file that's called file server.c. That means it's opening the source file of itself uh, and reading as bytes, reading as bytes. And then it's opening the socket like uh, basic TCP socket and then setting the addresses we know this from the previous uh, slides from the previous uh, laboratory sessions binding the TCP uh, server socket to the address and then listening and then accepting so on and so forth and this is the important part actually what we're doing is we're reading from the file uh, all right, so the file is fb. So what we're doing is we're reading the content of file using fread function call. Read uh, to this buffer each byte, this amount of bytes from this file pointer. So basically this fread is going to store the this number of bytes from this file to this buffer. And that buffer is actually created here and this buffer size is 30. Um, and this while loop is actually going to read the complete amount, complete file, 30 bytes each time, and then it is going to uh, write each uh, window of bytes, each 30 bytes, until the file finishes. Because here you can see that the read count is uh, at the end of the file, read count will be smaller than the buffer size because we are reaching the end. At least it will be uh, zero, like zero bytes will be read, or it will be a little bit uh, smaller than uh, 30 bytes. And then at that point, it will write the last part of the file and then just break out of this while loop. So the complete file will be transferred at this point, like when we're done with while loop. And then this party will make a TCP half close by making a call to shut down function call and then providing the uh, socket file descriptor. And then still we are going to be receiving the uh, messages that are coming from that client socket descriptor, even though we have just made shutdown function call because that's the property of TCP health close. And then we are printing out the message that we have just received from the uh, participant, uh, from the another host, from the other host. So we are uh, reading that Actually, it would have been a better 
idea to store the um, okay read count let's say this read count will be stored here and then the buffers read count will be set to zero that means the end of the string it's actually a better idea you would it would have been a better idea to stop the uh, to say that the end of this uh, message this after read function call is actually located at this uh, index because we know how many bytes we have read that means that uh, plus one that index plus one is actually the end of the string so we don't want to print out the trash that we have from the file right we want to just print out the content that we have just received so and then we are what we're doing is we're closing the file pointer that we have been using here and then we are closing the two socket descriptors so that's actually as simple as that and uh, file client.c looks like this what it's doing is it's opening up a socket and then it's opening up receive.dat file that means the, uh, we, are, we want to be storing the content that we are receiving from another host file server.c into this receive.dat and make a note that it does not exist here yet what it will be doing is it will be writing that file it will be creating that file and storing and then we are opening the socket tcp socket and connecting to that uh, address of the server and then while the server keeps on writing data we are writing that uh, data into a file until it's not zero then until it stops sending and then we are saying oh this is the end of file transfer just just printing it uh, and then writing uh, thank you back to the file server.c because after uh, shutdown function call it has to receive something because we put a read function call and that, that read function call is going to be receiving this message uh, because by the time it transfers the file actually we will be still receiving and then it will be moving on to close uh, shutdown function call right away like and then at this point we will be printing out received file data and then writing so and then uh, we are closing the file pointer that we have just opened here and then closing that socket descriptor so let's take a look as we understood uh, what it's doing let's first let's compile and see how it works let's open up two terminals see what two CYG in terminals oops okay all right on the console on the left I'm going to be running the uh, file server and on the console on the right I'll be running the file client. On the console on the left side I will be running file server on the console on the right side I will be running the file client. So let's compile the server and run it first gcc o server file server.c and on the left side let's compile the file client so on the right on the left side let's run the server on port 4444 and connect to the server on the on the right side 127001 when we run it what it says is uh, First of all, it just transferred the uh, file content of its so own source code to the uh, client on the right side, and then it said, I received the file data, after which we were actually printing out, uh, writing back thank you message. And when we sent back, write, uh, when we made a write function call to the socket file descriptor uh, by giving parameter of thank you, the message thank you, it transferred that thank you to this file server even though this uh, has called the TCP health close and then it received after TCP health close the message and then it printed out message from client is thank you so this is what I 
wanted to show and then let's open up the file as well and see that it has been transferred so the file server.c must have been copied to the server uh, received that file let's open up this and we can see that the content of the file has been transferred successfully and that is it for today i hope to see you next week